What's up everybody? So we are back again today to review film locations from Rush Hour, the very popular movie. Oh, also can you tell them what you told me about Rotten Tomatoes? Uh, oh yeah, so Rush Hour... Before we get into any the of movie locations. Rush Hour, not the shitty time of day in Los Angeles, actually created Rotten Tomatoes. Pretty much there was a fan who was a big fan of Jackie Chan and he wasn't really famous in America yet. So he created the website Rotten Tomatoes to get notoriety for the film and it worked and now we have lovely websites like Rotten Tomatoes and Internet Movie Database or IMDB. Yeah, so long story short, Rush Hour created Rotten Tomatoes or helped create Rotten Tomatoes. Pretty much. One of the things that yeah. kicked it off. But so for this first thing that we're at, we stopped by the Dolly Market, which is actually where Lee and Carter first pull up, right about almost to where, I think it was like a little bit behind that SUV right there, but they pull up in the, uh, it's a black Corvette they got, right? Yeah, and then Lee keeps trying to run away from Carter, and Carter knows Lee's gonna run away, so he's just like, look man, I'm gonna take you over to see the Chinese consulate. I'm gonna just go in here and get you something to eat. Don't you want like a couple of noodles or something? He's just like, all right, man, all right. And then Carter's like, or Chris Tucker's character is like, Shake on it, he goes, shake on it, and then he goes, and he handcuffs him to the wheel, and he's like, what are you doing? He's like, you're not the only one with fast hands. What? What are you doing? You ain't the only one with quick hands, are you? What? I'll be right back. Yeah, so right about here is where they pulled up the black Corvette, and they go into this Dolly Market right here. So yeah, once Carter comes out of the grocery store, he walks out to his black Corvette, which is parked right here and uh, he notices that his steering wheel's gone. Shouldn't have handcuffed his hand to the wheel, man. What can you say? It's Jackie Chan, he's immortal. Exactly. All right, we just came to this spot. This is where Su Young is in the back of the car and they're driving down this section Singing of the street. Mariah Carey. Yeah, the... Will you walk by every night? What's that song called? Uh, Fantasy? Yeah. Wait. So the car is coming down this way and it stops about right here because the police car comes out and it blocks it right here. And Sue Young's bodyguards roll down the window and they're like, they're a problem officer. And he's like, no problem here, just rush hour. And then he whacks them both. Yeah, he shoots them like literally, I would assume it's probably right here somewhere. Yeah. Just, but yeah, he's uh, the car's parked here. Kills right. them both. And then uh, Sue Young. Fights for her life. Yeah, she's a little badass, kicking and screaming. And she runs over this way. So then as Sue Young is running this way, this is pretty similar to the shot that they got. So the motorcycle comes out of that parking garage right there and then it's coming this way to kidnap her and then go over to this side. And let me say, Sue Young should have ran track because that it's, it's a pretty far distance. She was hard right? ass. And she was like a little girl too. Yeah, so yeah, she had little legs, man. So she, she gets to about the end of this uh, these lines right here and you see that, uh, that cool... The white van. No, you see that... Uh, oh, the mural. The mural, you see the cool mural right there? And then a white van pulls up, the guy on the motorcycle scoops her up, throws her in and we have the plot of the movie. I mean, yeah, that's literally the whole plot of the movie is getting that girl back, so. This is where it happens. So you can actually see this Grand Avenue sign right here, right as the white van pulls up and they're about to kidnap her. So for this scene, this is uh, one of the funniest parts in the movie where uh, with the no punk bitch part. He goes, damn chin, a greasy box of shit. <laughs> you ain't got no chicken wings and baby back ribs. No soul food, only Chinese food. It's like, I ain't talking about no Chinese food. I want some baby back ribs or something. And then, I don't know, they argue back and forth. I ain't no punk bitch. I ain't no punk bitch neither. <laughs> Damn, Chin. Some greasy shit. You ain't got no better food, like some chicken wings, some baby back ribs, some fries or something. Chinese food, no soul food here. Oh, I said you got some better food. I don't want that greasy shit. How you gonna sell a big box of grease? Genie, you but queen. I'm chilling out what? Come on. I'm no punk bitch. I ain't no punk bitch neither. I'm no I'm punk bitch. I ain't no punk bitch. Right, You're gonna that, start saying that. that. What kind of films over where like that panda bear was? There used to be like a thing where you could order food right here, but they took it out. Cause I was what, 20, it was in 1998 I think, right? That that movie yeah, came out? Yeah, so like 20 years ago, something like that. Over, yeah. over. So in that scene, when they look across, you actually can see the food chow restaurant where um, they go into for like three different scenes. Um, they try to poison Jackie Chan in there. Where Carter sits down and um, tries to get the drop on who, where exactly Sue Young is. And she was actually being held at this restaurant right here. They roll up in the Corvette and they park over by those meters over there. That's where Jackie Chan and Carter or Chris Tucker pull up and stake out this restaurant right here, Fu Chow Restaurant. It even says it right here, Fu Chow Restaurant, a bestseller movie by Jackie Chan. Rush Hour was shot here. And I think it says it in Chinese, Chinese symbols, whatever you call them. Characters. With the sounds of LA in the background. Yeah, with Rush Hour in the background. This is where the Corvette actually pulls up and Lee and Carter are staking out Fu Chow, which you can see right there. 
and uh, it's the scene where they start like officially bonding, I guess, in the movie, and they start doing like their dance moves. And, like they're singing whoa, <gasps> whoa, and then uh, kind of take the gun away from each other and shit, like kind of yeah. be all slick. There is an angle shot from right here where they're standing, and this is the alley that is, yeah. <laughs> As Uriel's showing you exactly how they're... Yeah, yeah, do, do it, do it. Act it out, act it out. Ha! What is it good for? You get the point. So in this spot right here is where Jackie Chan is pretty much standing right where Uriel is. And two tourists walk up to him and they actually ask him where Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles was. Hey, it's Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles? Which I didn't know what that was before I moved to LA, but it's actually a really good waffle place. And so he's like, oh, I don't know, it's like that way or that way. But he actually points them in this direction, which in real life there actually are two Roscoe chickens over that way. So, so good job, Jackie Chan. You, you did something you right. You led them the right way. Yeah. Oh, they were actually standing right in front of this door. You can see this door behind them when the, when the nice Chinese ladies come up. Yeah, that's where it happens. Roscoe's and, chicken and waffles. <laughs> and then that alley is, yeah, like right there. So the places they're picking up the Chinese food is right across from here. And you can actually see the restaurant from there. This whole area is like where they were like just kind of staking it out, hanging out. I keep just thinking about the, I ain't no punk bitch for it. I'm like, dude, I, I swear no on everything, I'm going to start using that. Yo, low-key, this guy kind of looks like, is this the guy in the movie? That guy ain't no punk bitch. Ain't no punk bitch. Um, Dope. So this last spot we're gonna go to is uh, one of the most iconic scenes. Well, I, I feel like I've said it like three times already, but some of the most iconic scenes is like the snatching scene when they pick up the girl, when Carter does the leg kick, when he shoots the car and he uh, makes it explode and he does a leg kick. Yeah. Oh yeah, punk the food bitch, scene. Punk the, bitch. the punk bitch, I love that. Yeah, no punk um, bitch. But yeah, so we were trying to look for that diner that all that stuff goes down. And based off of the movie, I found that the diner was standing right in front of this building right here because you can actually see those X's on the windows outside of it. But um, Got yeah, so. Down. Carter comes up to buy C4, which is uh, explosives from a shady dealer, Clyde. And they're like, you know, man, I was waiting in the diner, all this stuff. Some not undercover cops come up and they're like, get away from the car. Clyde shoots them both, and then Carter, I'm sorry, Clyde drives out fast to like get away. He drives out right here, and then Chris Tucker, AKA Carter, is standing about, well actually, he's standing about right th here, I'll walk out to it. So he comes and he's shooting at the car from about right here, and the car explodes and flips over right about there. He does the kick right about, yeah, right about there. Yeah! So he shoots him about here, does a little kick thing, and then he runs over to about, this area, the lines and stuff were obviously painted a lot differently back then because it was uh, like 20 years ago or whatever, but that's basically where that all happens at. Yeah, so fun fact, like we said, the uh, the leg, the iconic leg kick happens here and then he does the, but he kicked the wrong leg. Michael Jackson always kicked the left. <laughs> Chris Tucker kicked the right, but hey, what you Wait, got? how do you know that? I read way, way too much on movie blog. Hey, maybe he was just trying to be him, you know? Because he ain't Michael Jackson and he knew that, so maybe he was just trying to do and, him. Oh, and he actually ended up being in a song and music video with uh, with Michael Jackson. It's called uh, Rock My World. He's in that. He is in that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Chris yeah. Tucker does a lot of like comedy bits on Michael Jackson. Yeah. Well, so yeah, that's where that whole scene went down. Um, if you guys want to see any other filming locations in Los Angeles, let us know. Um, we want to go to, he just gave me the idea that we should go to the Matilda filming locations because yeah. it's not too far. And I was like, Everybody loves Matilda. Everybody's seen that movie. And We're if you haven't seen it, then the childhood heartstrings of you guys. We all know 90s and 80s kids love Matilda. All right, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Amazing.